What is LIMA? LIMA is an acronym that stands for Least Intrusive, Minimally Aversive, as it relates to animal training and behavior modification. LIMA provides ethical standards and guidelines for animal trainers and behavior consultants. It has been adopted by the Association of Professional Dog Trainers, APDT, the Certification Council for Professional Dog Trainers, CCPDT, and the International Association of Animal Behavior Consultants, IAABC, as a standard of practice and code of conduct for trainers and consultants. LIMA guidelines are used to teach new behaviors and change behaviors in a way that is humane and effective. At the same time, these guidelines help minimize adverse experiences and side effects, as well as reduce stress on the part of the learner and the handler. LIMA is competence-based. Professional trainers and consultants are encouraged to remain knowledgeable and skilled through continuing education and experience. They are encouraged to recognize their own boundaries and recommend more appropriate trainers or consultants as needed. Lima uses scientific methods when applying and evaluating teaching, training, and behavior modification strategies. Lima is evidence-based. Research supports positive reinforcement in teaching, training, and behavior modification. Lima encourages the reinforcement of desired behaviors when teaching a dog, as opposed to punishing a dog for undesired behavior. Lima also encourages trainers and consultants to understand each unique learner and what motivates them. Lima works to prevent the abuse and pitfalls of unnecessary, inappropriate, and inhumane punishment. Who should use LIMA? These standards and guidelines should be observed by animal trainers and behavioral consultants working with any animal species. By observing the LIMA standard of care, trainers and behavioral consultants can provide the most effective and humane pathway to changing the behavior of the learner and those who care. When should we use LIMA? The short answer is always. Lima is a philosophy. Using Lima only when training, then immediately resorting to yelling, force, neglect, or aversives of any sort at other times, sets the people and pets with whom we live and work up for confusion or failure. Dogs are great at picking out patterns. If our behavior is predictable only when we are training, it will be harder for our dogs to trust us and will slow progress. Explaining this to clients can help them understand why their dog is so much better with us than with them. In addition to giving guidelines for training, the LIMA principles can inform our daily interactions, whether with client dogs, our own pets, or other people in our lives. If problems are assessed by thinking first of mental and physical well being, we avoid the mistake of attributing a motivation for a behavior erroneously. Adhering to LIMA guidelines ensures that each case is evaluated on its own merits. Moreover, it helps ensure an individual pet is mentally, emotionally, and physically capable of doing what we want with the minimum of stress. Why should LIMA principles be used? Handlers and dogs are all individuals. They come to us for guidance and bring their own individual histories and ideas. Each team should be looked upon as a blank slate and approach to allow their involvement and decisions and training. This allows for the dog to make choices. Approaching this with Lima allows for this. For any type of dog training, positive and fun will carry over the best. Lima allows a trainer to see the point where both handler and dog are the most comfortable with decreased stress to build a foundation for additional training. Training that starts with aversive methods can set the dog back and it can shut the dog down for training in the future. It can become stressful for the handler and also carry down the leash.